So Dad's had some work done to his little steam loco. We've got it in the trailer hooked up to his 1944 Willys Jeep and tow it down to the train club and give it a test fire up and a test run on the track. This is a miniature steam train, five and a quarter inch track width. It's a Borden class locomotive. It's just been off the track for a while. It's had to have some repairs to the boiler, so we brought it down to the club. Dad's just gonna fire it up, make sure it fires up, gets up steam pressure. We did take it for one lap around the track, but unfortunately I missed the video on that for some reason, but we had a little bit of trouble with the throttle control. So while it fired up pressure well, he just had to take it back home to do a little bit of work to the throttle so we'll bring it back again for another run when that's done this is just a video showing uh, firing up the steam loco the process involved in, in, in uh, bringing it up the pressure getting it going and then um, obviously coal. taking the pressure down as well to take it back home so this is a traverser that goes across behind the trailer and then uh, you can load your train on the reverse and then bring it across to these tracks and then we've got a turntable here with all the separate steaming bays when I mean, you've got multiple people here on a big day you know, they've all got a little bay they can put their train onto to fire it up and get it ready So being a steam locomotive, it obviously needs water and coal. So Dad's just going to hook up some water here. So the little tender on the back there, where the water goes. We're just going to siphon the water out of the tender, put some fresh water in there.
see where he put a sleeve on the pipe. Oh yeah. So to get the steam train going, we've got a uh, blower, it's a 12 volt fan motor out of an old car. And that goes up on the smokestack and we fire that up and that creates a draft through the fire tubes, help get the fire started and once it's up and going Good. it creates its own draft. I'll check him. So to get it started, we've got some little pine wood chips and then a few rags that have just been soaked in a bit of diesel. So we get a fire going in there and then uh, when it's got a bit of heat then throw some coal in there and it'll take about 20-30 minutes to actually build up steam pressure to 100 psi. I don't want to get it too cold. Oh. Oh, okay. So these are just some mechanical oilers. Oils all the running gear. Uh, they just it pumps the oil in under the running gear while the train's going. So we just top them up with a bit of oil before we start. Got enough oil in there. So here it's just a continual process of adding the coal, keep the fire going, keep an eye on the water level in the boiler and just build up your pressure. Initially you get the water into the boiler with a little hand pump and then once it's got pressure it'll actually uh, vacuum suction the water into the boiler when you open a valve uh, to keep it topped up. So we're building steam pressure, we can see it coming out of the valves there, we can see the safeties are just about ready to lift. We've also got to give the firebox a bit of a rake to keep it clear so it can breathe. You can see the pressure gauge there is almost on 12 o'clock which is 100 psi, so it's pretty much ready to go. So it's just had one successful lap around the track, unfortunately I've lost the footage of that but just got a small clip of it coming into the station, running quite nicely apart from the throttle, just being a little bit loose. Yep. 
so we had a successful run we're just pushing it back up to the steaming bay as you can see that the safety is there just lifting letting the pressure off as it hits 100 psi so we'll go back up to steaming bays now and we'll just slowly let the fire die down while we keep the boiler full of water get rid of the steam So the fire's died down, it's almost completely out. The pressure's just up there at the 100 psi. That'll just slowly drop down now as the steam will reduce. As I said, we'll just keep the water in the boiler level up. Yeah. And it's just a reverse process. Take it out of the steaming bays, pop it back onto the traverser, roll it over to the trailer, tie it back down. Ready to go.